Okay, let's get it. What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Sean from Collector's Closet coming at you with another review. And today, we're gonna do a little time travel, go back about four years, and take a look at Beast Kingdom Exclusive 2019, part of the Egg Attack series, X-Man's Logan. Now, I know you guys probably wondering, why am I deciding to do a review on this figure now? Well, I went to Destin, Florida a few weeks ago, happened to see this at Books A Million, and it was a definite buy for me. So, with that being said, we're going to crack this thing open and uh, see how good it is. So, this is a Beast Kingdom exclusive 2019. I think this is, I don't know if this 10th is 10, 10, 10 year anniversary or something along, along those lines. I'm not sure. But, the packaging looks pretty good. Get a uh, image of Logan, 80 year Marvel. Beast Kingdom, 10th Beast Kingdom, I'm, I'm, like I said, I think that means, what, 10th, 10th year anniversary. Egg Attack Action, EAA093, figure is 6 inch tall, and here are some dope ass images of the actual figure, and check this out, it says it has over 28 points of articulation, interchangeable heads, glaring Logan heads. Classic Logan costume, the brown jacket, plaid shirts and jeans, and a pair of fists, pair of open hands, pair of fists with the claws. So get the sticker of authenticity. The bottom of the box. Some information. Like I said, I got this from Books a Million. It was 80 bucks. I think I caught it on sale for about 50 bucks. So yeah. If you're new to the channel, we do all unboxes live, raw, uncut, no editing allowed. We do have Spawn sitting on the throne here to help judge uh, the figure. So get my knife ready and get straight to it. Man, my, my knife is tra trash now, man. It, it, it's barely even cutting tape. But anyway, let's pull this out. Are you guys have you guys ever picked up the Beast Kingdoms uh egg attack uh figures? They look pretty dope to me. Um I do I think I own one other one which is Spider Gwen. <clears throat> I never opened it. It's been packed away, but so we do it does come with a uh display stand. It says X Man Logan here on the front. <clears throat> the other pieces for it. And this little baggie. So that's pretty dope. And um, yeah, clamshell. Get the figure out of here. If I can. This thing looks dope. Big ass head. Crazy proportions, but it looks pretty good though. Let's move him back. <clears throat> Go over the accessories. Fist with claws. And and yo, check out the vac metal other claws if i can get this other one out <clears throat> struggling there we go check this out that vac metal looks really really good <clears throat> this claw here is a little warped but um yeah those look really really good Put those back in there. I don't want to put no fingerprints all over it. And comes with a set of open hands, retracted claws, silver paint. I wish they would have went with the same vac metal that they did on the uh, claws. But set of open hands. Put those back in there. And he does come with the fist on him in packaging. And we also get an alternate. And this stuff is so recessed. Alternate head. Crazy looking eye. I mean, this, this looks super good, yo. The paint is done very well. The eyes are a separate piece. Nice grit and teeth. Almost a cartoony type of look. The hair is sculpted very nice. And you can move the eyes. Check that out. So that's pretty cool. And this the heads come with the 
the dumbbell joint already attached. <clears throat> this adds a little wonky. Let me see if I can get it straightened up. Guess you just reach in and boom. Nice and center. There we go. Looks pretty good. Let me, get, let me try to position it down a little bit. There we go. That's a dope looking head sculpt. <clears throat> we'll get to that uh, here in a second. We'll swap out some of these things. Let me just move this off to the side. Bring out the rotating table. Get them front and center. Take a look at them. Looks really, really, really good. The jacket is, feels like suede. <clears throat> nice flannel shirt under there. And you can, it's real kind of, it's kind of loose at the waist, but nice denim, some wear to it. Comes with the fist, retracted claws. Sorry about that, but um, yeah, it's not much to it. It is claw, uh, soft goods on them. Looks really good. That head sculpt, man, that's pretty dope. This eye looks a little wonky. I may have to fidget that around. And the hair is actually a separate piece. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. But yeah. Let's go over articulation. The head, like I said, is on that double ball. So he can look up far. Really good. It's really good um, movement there. Looking down, not as much. Just a little bit. Side to side. Crazy amount of pivot. You get some nice fluid motion up in there. And the neck is also on a, okay, so yeah, the neck is also on a dumbbell or on a um, ball joint. So combined looking down, you can get, look down a lot further with when you utilize that neck joint and looking up. Arms hinge up that far. And, um, I don't want it stripping, but I can't tell if there's a butterfly joint in there. You do get, can't tell if it's, let's see. Let's try to bend this. Let's see here. The jacket is getting all, where's the elbow bend? So yeah, there we go. Okay, so. The elbow is bent up in here some kind of weird way. There we go. <clears throat> nice bend. Seems to be double jointed. Does a uh, bunch up the clothing. And the hand just fell off. Let's take this off. Yeah, he has the flannel up under it. Man, I almost don't want to do it because it seems hard to take off but there's the ball joint for the wrist <clears throat> let's plug that back in all right all right sorry about that hand flew everywhere man it's kind of i don't know i mean it's not it's not not the fault of the figure right There we go. And it goes on. Rotation at the hand. It's a ball joint, so you get your hinging in and out. Not bad. But the elbow, the arm is swiveled a certain way on this arm. And I'm trying to get it. Ah, oh, man. Let's see. Let's 
pull their hand off. Put the other hand off. Oh, uh, let's see. It's so tight. Like. Ah, oh, man. There we go. Let's take a look at the body. It's going to take off this as well. So it is a butterfly joint. And it's. I'm not even sure if this if you're supposed to take this off, but there's the butterfly joint. Let's get this guy situated how he needs to be. Because this arm over here is big time messed up. And you want to be careful, man. I, I mean, this thing been out a while, so um, you guys are probably already in the same reviews. And I'm not sure if this is even supposed to come off, but I have to fix the bicep swivel. Man. Maybe I shouldn't have did this. But we already here now. So, okay, let's see something. No editing allowed. Straight, raw, uncut. <clears throat> but you see, the different colored skin tones, but leaning back with both joints, crunching forward, crunches forward a lot, and legs. You get some hindrance because of the jeans. So kick it forward. You only get about that much going back. And the pants start to come down. You don't get much. You do get a thigh cut in there. I'm not sure if it's single or double jointed knee. But, um. And your foot hinges down that far. Hinges up that far. You get a toe hinge as well. And the pants are falling down as you articulate the bottom half. But the butterfly joints on this guy. I mean, it's kind of weird. And I can't get this. It's this shoulder over here. I'm having problems with. There we go. And I'm not even sure if this is a yeah, it's a butterfly joint. Let's see. Let's get this button back up. Doing this in real time. There's that. I think that's as good as it's going to get. And the thing that sucks with cloth figures, man, is it the limited amount of range you get. And how the clothes get the, you know. coming undone and falling down and so I don't recommend taking the clothes off there he is <clears throat> Let's see if I can get this jacket back on Let's see here. There's 
one sleeve. First, let's get this position right. Arms hinge up that far. I mean, you barely can get a little bit more motion or articulation, but Shirt is riding up. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Looks good. But, um, man. Can I get this back on, though? It's one sleeve. Another sleeve almost. And I'm hoping that all of this is in camera. <clears throat> Reaching around the camera trying to do this is a lot harder to do. And this arm doesn't seem to want to go all the way in. Now the jacket seems too big. I'm going to put the claws on. See if I can do this. There's the ball joint. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's one. All right. Do, 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 do. Let's get the other hand. Is that on there? Is that there we go making business a little bit the shirt man <clears throat> is okay there we go so that was a chore now let's see if we can get this head off Okay, easy enough. Let's get the other head sculpt. <clears throat> and it snaps on. Nice side is fine. Pop. Yeah. There he is. It's, do I get... So... <laughs> okay. I was wondering why this looked crazy. They gave me two left hands. Automatic. That suck. So, I'm going to put a fist on the other hand. <clears throat> because... No wonder somebody probably bought this back because of that. That's probably why I was on clearance. So, I actually have two left claw hands. That sucks. That sucks. But, whatever. And with this head, same, same articulation. 
but sucks because I can't have two calls, but no complaint. Not, not, I mean, yeah, that sucks, but overall, it's a nice looking figure, man. It's not bad. Looks pretty good. I may have to. I mean, I'm I'm stuck with it, man. They don't they ain't making this stuff no more anyway. So, might have to go on the second uh, secondary market, find the correct hand. This eye looks wonky. On this side, let's see if I can straighten that up. There we go. Uh, About as straight as I could get it. Still looks a little wonky. But, um. This is all a separate piece, too. This is kind of weird. But, anyway. There's your look at the Beast Kingdom. Logan. 2019 exclusive. And, uh, yeah, man, I think it's a pretty good looking figure, man. Little small issues. The articulation is, it's okay. It ain't too bad. See if I can get him in a, you guys know I don't really like posing like, like that, but, um, let's see if I can get something going on. Can he balance? Can he hold it? Yep. There he is. Looking pretty good. Now, uh, that toe articulation helped a little bit. Well, helped a lot, I should say. Oh, man. And then I just messed it up. There we go. Yeah. Spawn says it's a go. So it's a go. I'll be putting it right on my shelf. Let's do some size comparisons, actually. Before I forget, you guys know how I tend to forget. So let's go with my main man, Major Blood, with the man in black. Uh, Westworld DC select hat and um, she spawn rifle. Is that those guys scale? It is six inch, so it does fit in just our proportions. Let's get my girl Riri. Where you at, Riri? In the building. Oh man, can he? Uh, me can hold it, but you tap it, man, and it falls over. That's how those guys scale. Let's get him out here with uh, King Grayskull by Mattel. And he tires over um, this guy. Seven inch, six inch. Who else? Um, let's get um, Gunslinger Spawn. Also a 7-inch figure. Towers over him. But yeah. It's a go. It looks good. I think I'm going to pose him right on the shelf like so. That's your look at the Beast Kingdom Logan 2019 exclusive. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share. Let me know what you think about this one. And uh, 
yeah, you guys know my saying. It's your boy Sean, and I'm out. One.